Offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's gonna give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Wilbur, Massachusetts, Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come back home. You ready? You ready? Go. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway and you hate it to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Oh, huge block. Effective punch there by Lee. Still nice body kick. Man. These guys throwing early. Unable to connect there. 
right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Leg kick. Big call punch land. Now we get back to range. Nice right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice leg kick land. Oh, nice hook by Lee. Over and over, he's fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Right on the button. Just unable to quite find that range. Right there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. And he landed the right hand there. Big body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Oh, nice high kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Ooh, head kick lands from hurt. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Another shot lands upstairs. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, and he connects with a punch.
challenge there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice jab. He throws the right hand there. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. His hands are down. Beautiful punch. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, picks him up, oh, he's DC. Him up. He's got him up. Great wow. single leg. Put him down. You are a child, boy. You belong to me. Imagine being able to pick up another man and oh, say, you go goodness. here, bro. You but go I, here. I can't. I I've done it before. John, I've done it before. <laughs> Lee gets caught with that punch. Also, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. There's no give on that leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. Effective punch there by Luke. You got to check these low leg kicks. Just missed with the left there. That was lightning fast, that right hand. There's that patented head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Such a fast leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, a little single column tie there. Just out of range. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big body kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just misses with the left hook. And he lands another knee there. DC doesn't always pay for the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Back to the feet now. Going orthodox now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Excellent job out there. You are a cardio machine. Cardio is the key to victory right now. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, 
nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round was confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Big punch lands through the middle. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Close guard. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Now it's his mount. Lee getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Back mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing it. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. I mean, how many can he take? Solid strike on the ground. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? Ground and pound strike there now. Under two minutes to go in round three. The ground and pound has been there all night. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage. Lee gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. That's a nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Plus right hand is true. Just out of range with that strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Swing and a miss by Lou. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. That's a big strike right there. 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Big kick lands. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Just out of the range with that right hand. Good job, guys. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. What a tricky head kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Right hook to the head block. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lands a punch there, pretty good connection by him. Great connection, he's in a great oh. flow right now. Oh, he's hurt bad, he's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure, he's got to chase that finish down. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Game of inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. That How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's gotta feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing is better. Nice punch lands over the top. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. Great punch. Oh, John. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the show? And they both stand up. Under two minutes now to go. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Plans the right hand. Beautiful kick. Nice body. Just misses there with the left. 
Tough to take down, no problem. Big leg kick lands. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Able to check the high kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick, and just misses with that big right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that. Kick. Single collar tie now. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if it continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Fifth and final round. Debilitating leg kicks tonight, and that left thigh now started to show signs of bruising. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, collar tie. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice loop and punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. And he lands the knee to the body now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Watch knees to the body. Well placed kick there by Lee. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish and you're getting an L? You gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. We gotta whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good stick. The left hook has been there at times, not that time. Got clipped with the right hand. That was a thuddy leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. 
Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of defense. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't know everything in 100% power. He throws things to set up. He does a good job of knowing when to go and knowing when to slow down. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Might be out. Nice punch land through the top. Beautiful body kick land right up the Oh, good kicks. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. Whoa! So the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish.